Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Animation Series, you will learn how to animate a table in PowerPoint. A table is quite a useful tool to summarize information on a slide. While it is easy to create a table in PowerPoint, the limitation is it is not easy to animate the contents of the table. In this session, you're going to learn how to show a table which is animated using simple exit animation. And here you, you see animated decision matrix where four criteria are used to evaluate five products. And the evaluation is made on a scale from one to five, one being very poor and five being very good. On click, you have the parameters and the results shown for product one. As you can see here, criterion uh, product one fares well on the first two criteria. And on the next click, you have the results for product two shown. Likewise, product three, product four, and product five appear on click. Let us see how to achieve this simple animation by going to a slide which already has this matrix uh, built in. Let me show you how I created the animation. First thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. I'm going to pick this one called as the Rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw a rectangle that covers the first set of values here. I'm going to remove the outline and I'm going to use white as the fill color. I want to have a bit of transparency added to this so that you can see the numbers behind this matrix, though not very clearly. Let me go to Format Shape by right clicking Format Shape and then Fill. And here you can see the ribbon, the option to increase the transparency. I can either use this button spin button to increase the level of transparency or I can move the slider along this line to decide the level of uh, transparency I would like to have. I chose this one and there it is. It is um, done. Now we are going to replicate this four times so that we can place them right next to each other so we can cover all these values here. The way to do it is, after having this selected, go to Control D once, twice, thrice, and four times, so that we can have four duplicates created. The last one I'm going to place exactly where I want it to be. So that is just about where I want it. Now I'm going to select all these elements. Now I have all the rectangular blocks selected. Now let me go to Arrange, Align, Align Top, Arrange, Align and Distribute Horizontally. Now you can see that everything is very beautifully covered. Maybe I can move it slightly to this side. So the whole thing is beautifully covered. Now the next step is to add exit animation to each of these. And it's very simple. Let us go to Animations go to animation pane and as you can see here there are too many panes here so I'm going to close the one that is for format background now let me go to this animation pane first I select this I can either choose to add animation or I can go and see this variations here first I'm going to choose wipe animation and this one can be from left and the same way I'm going to select all these one after another not, not uh, ex entrance one, sorry. I'm going to use um, exit animation, wipe from left and all of them have to be on click. So that is done. So now when I go to the slideshow view, you can see here one, two, three, four and five revealing in the animated decision matrix. As you can see here, it is not very complicated. However, it takes a bit of time to create this animated decision matrix or to animate tables. 
I want to show you options taken from our custom animated templates pack in PowerPoint. And as you can see here, this diagram, this option is used to choose one option out of the various options available. And I'm going to show you the same concept in different ways. So this one is about picking from many options. On click, you have six of the options shown on a platter. And then another click, you have one of the options picked and you can talk about what the option is and the associated explanation for it. Let me show you another example of selecting the right option. Here you have four of uh, the options and the explanation here. On click, you have one option selected and it changes colors. Changes color. Another option is about the various candidates who have applied for a position. And on a click, you have one candidate who is selected and the reason why we preferred the candidate. The last example I'm going to show you is about the table with a little more of uh, animation here used in e-learning templates where you want to get the viewer's attention a little more uh, a little more proactively. So here you have on click you have the various uh, parameters coming in. As you can see it takes time, effort and skill to create precise custom animated templates. To make it easy for busy business presenters like you to create highly advanced animated templates in PowerPoint. We have 630 plus advanced custom animation templates pack available in presentation process. You just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality animated business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating animation or animated table in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read articles that improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.